So today we are doing a get ready with me. Um, I'm actually going to an event today, so I thought it'd be fun because I don't wear makeup every single day, but when I do, it's quite kind of like, I like that whole no makeup makeup look. So I just wanted to chat with you guys, let you guys know what's on my mind, as well as obviously get ready because I gotta. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is jade roll. Um, I already did this this morning, but I feel like doing it right before your makeup is always really nice because it helps with that lymphatic drainage. I love using tools like this on my face. I really feel like it helps. Okay, so before I start, I'm gonna use my Neutrogena SPF 110. It's ultra light, quick absorbing. So I take quite a generous dollop and I usually put this all over my face. Even if I'm not wearing any makeup, but I'm going outside, I'm gonna be wearing this. Um, I remember reading somewhere that Cindy Crawford said she could do it all over again and she looks fantastic. She would wear more sunscreen. So I'm gonna listen to her and do that. So just make sure to kind of pat this on a little bit everywhere. And um, I usually do a little on my neck too, but yeah. Um, this is a tutorial, even though I'm acting like it's one. And then I also have my Real Techniques sponge here. And yeah, so anyway, I just want to do a get ready with me because a lot of you guys always ask me what I use. And to be honest, I don't like, I pretty much do my makeup the same all the time. It's just always been very, very minimal and I always want my skin to look kind of decent. So I'm gonna take in this Age Rewind Concealer. Let's do a little on my chin, on my nose, like this. And then I think I have a little spot around here. So very, very minimal. And sometimes I do the corners of my mouth cause they tend to be a little bit darker there. So guys, I am going to LA for the first time at the end of July. And I'm so excited about that. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous because Places like LA kind of intimidate me because I'm, um, I don't know, like I just feel like it's really glamorous and everybody always looks their best and very much like as, as much as I like makeup and fashion and stuff, I'm pretty low key most of the time because I, I work from home so I could be kind of lazy and wear sweatpants and whatnot. So that's what I normally do. Um, but let me know your thoughts. If you have any recommendations of stuff I should do in LA or videos you want to see while I'm in LA, let me know. I'm definitely going to be doing a like kind of what I pack because you guys seem to really like those as well as, um, oh, a trap, like a skincare routine on the airplane because I always am very, very cautious about that. And you guys have asked me what I do on my airplanes. So I'm going to definitely do that. Uh, I'm going to fill in my brows with this Maybelline Brow Definer 315 in Deep Brown. It does the job, but I feel like it's a little bit too dark. So I tend to brush it out a lot. So just do some small strokes. And I like my brows to be really, really straight and not much of an arch to them. And then I'm gonna brush that out after. But be really, really gentle. So a lot of you guys always ask me too what my favorite makeup brands are. And mine, okay, my number one is definitely Glossier. In the beginning, I never really understood it, but I get it now. <laughs> it's honestly, it's just so minimal, so easy. It's pretty foolproof. Um, the first thing I noticed, and this is because I was really tan when their pop-up shop was here in Toronto, was that I just felt like a lot of the skin, um, not skin tones, a lot of the colors wouldn't work on my skin tone or people who are darker than me, um, but they seem to kind of create some vibrant shades, which is good because I feel like some of the light shades wouldn't really work on my skin. Um, and that also goes for people who are darker than me. Like, I don't think it would show up, but, um, I tend to go for like deeper blushes, deeper um, wine colors. So I'm really excited about the two new colors that came out because they're super vibrant. I'm going to definitely use one today. I had to tell you guys what to get from Glossier. Um, what I would 100% recommend is their Milky Jelly Cleanser. I think it's really, really good. And their Boy Brow. And I think like 
those two products are really, really amazing and so worth it. And then I also really like all the cloud paints. I like their highlight. I like everything, but um, I think I would stick to the Milky Gel Cleanser and the Boy Brow. Everything else you can really kind of do without. Uh, ironically, I don't even have Boy Brow with me. Yeah, that is how I like to do my brows. And if I had my Boy Brow, I would have something going over it. But yeah, and then next I'm going to um, contour my face. I don't wear any foundation guys in case you've noticed. I just Honestly, I don't like the way it feels on my skin. I've never really found one, but if I do it's the it cosmetic uh, CC cream. I just steal that from my mom but I'm going to take a little bit of this Kat Von D and We are going to do my cheekbones Wow, that was really dark And then also here I put way too much on that side. We'll fix that. It's always when you do your makeup on camera is when you screw up. Let's see. Another thing I like to do if I overdo it, I like to go back with one of these. Okay, also looks really dark from the shadow, but trust me, it's not actually that dark. Um, and then I like to just kind of light hand, light hand. And my forehead's not that big, so I never, I just kind of dust the rest here. And then here. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna also contour my nose. Um, I wanna do a more specific video on this because it's something that I actually haven't been really able to find, like how to contour my type of nose. Because if you see, there's not a lot of projection in my nose here on, like I have. Um, I have a very typical like East Asian nose I would say where it's uh, my bridge is quite flat and there's not a lot of projection in my tip so To make it look like I have just a little bit more something there. I take a fan brush and then I lightly Go here with the same contour color as my cheeks And I'll do this every day guys. This is literally only if I'm um, I'm going to be taking pictures or something like that. Be excessive for every day for me. And then I'm also going to do the tip here. This side is so shadowy and that's why you're getting like a lot more on this side. Because it's actually not that much darker if you look in the mirror. And then I take the beauty blender. And then I blend it out. And then what I like to do to kind of accentuate the tip of my nose is I like to do a little bit here, just like that. So it gives the impression that the tip is a little bit more um, projected. So as you guys can see, to me this looks a lot different, but I just keep blending it out. Okay, and then the next thing I do after that is I take a flat shader brush and then I put in a highlight color. So I just take one of the bright colors from the Kat Von D palette and then I go in the middle here to highlight the parts I want to highlight, which would be the bridge. And then also the tip of the nose, which I do my a little bit higher because technically, I guess this is the tip of my nose. And I just blend it out. You can also use this right where your eyebrow is. And it kind of gives a nice lift. So as you guys can see, the nose looks just so, like I could do a more in-depth version, but just, I, I personally see a difference. If you guys don't, it's okay, but that's why, the way I like to do it. Also the two new Glossier colors, they're so freaking good. I'll swatch them both for you guys because I love them. This one is called Storm and this one's called Dawn. Dawn's the orangier color and Storm is like that deep, like wine color and it, they're so freaking good and a little goes a long way with these things like honestly I don't think I'll be using these up for a while especially because I have quite a few cloud paints but let me just swatch them because they're so freaking good this one is storm and this one is dawn so good so I'm actually because we're going to like a it's like a beachier party today so I am going to be using dawn and this is a trick that I think I learned from like an Emily Weiss video, um, which she's like the founder of Glossier. You take like your, the size of your hands, you put the cloud paint in it together, you warm it up between your hands like this, 
and then you kind of just press it in and it leaves a really nice stain it's not too much super glossy and pretty right and i have eyelash extensions if you guys want to like i don't know if you guys want to like know about them i have a video on it but i could do another one definitely just kind of my experience and everything and I just brush through it with one of those spoolies that they provide me. I always take like three or four every time I go to an appointment. And then what I also like to do is I like to take one of those brushes that are meant to like blend out. And then I take a bronzer color. So this is like a Too Faced, this is a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And to kind of create depth in my eyelid. And for a little bronze, I also have a NARS bronzer that I really like. Or this Maybelline one, also I can use drugstore too, it doesn't matter. Um, and then I take just one of those fluffy brushes, kind of go through these two, and just kind of lightly dust anywhere that you would naturally be bronze. So pretty. Um, and then I'm gonna take this brush, like one of these fan brushes that I used to contour. I also use it for my highlight. Is that bad, guys? I guess I can use this. Okay. I'm gonna use one of these and I'm gonna take my highlight and this is one of the master chrome highlights this is like one of the best highlights you can get ever and then we're gonna just put it right here I always kind of overkill this part because it looks so nice in pictures so I guess I don't have a big announcement or anything on this get ready with me but I think one thing I really want to do is write more a lot of you guys have asked me like to do more blog posts and stuff so I'm definitely gonna do that because you guys have been liking that. If you guys don't know, I have a blog, guys. So I like to write. And I usually just write all my stuff there, write my thoughts, anything that's a little bit unrelated to this channel, I put over there. It's very, very simple, super bronzy. And then I usually finish with some Vaseline. You guys know Vaseline is like my favorite beauty product of all time. That is my no makeup makeup look. And I am just gonna touch up a few pieces of my hair. So I'm gonna use this Marc Anthony Argan Oil. Spray it. That is it guys. I wanna move on to the outfit and show you guys my outfit, but this is like literally what I do when I need to film, when I need to get ready, when I'm going somewhere, etc., etc. It's super minimal. Literally looks like I'm not really wearing a ton of makeup. And to be honest, I'm not in comparison to a lot of like the full glam looks and stuff like that out there. This is just something really simple that you can achieve day to day. We are going to head over there, show you guys my outfit, and I hope you guys enjoyed this fun and get ready with me. Let's go. Hey guys, we're here. is the outfit I decided to go with. Talk from, talk from Shein. Denim is thrifted. 